here we will we will start 10th canto chapter 4 verse number 23 Comes out saying, "Chamadhammam dooratmam sadvo din vatsalaha itti yuktva shrumukha padoshyala swastro rathar grihit." Comes a beg, my dear sister and brother-in-law. Please be merciful to such a poor, hurted person as me. since both of you are saintly person please excuse my atrocities having said this comes of fell at the feet of vasudeva and devaki his eyes full of tears of regret the thing is to be understood that how possible the same comes of who killed so many small babies infant in front of their parents now what playful words he is using in front of his sister and sister in law and saying that you both of you are saintly person so it is very clear the demoniac heart don't have any respect and mercy for any saint and here he is excusing for his atrocities and fell at the feet of devaki and vasudeva as a common person like me it looks very strange after knowing all the qualities of kamsa if even he is doing like this but the demonic person if they do like this there is some purpose behind it suddenly it's not like that comes also become saintly he just pretending to be the very good person and trying to show himself that something should happen good with him after doing all this although kamsa had spoken very nicely on the subject of real knowledge his past deeds were abominable and atrocious and therefore he further begged forgiveness from his sister and brother in law by falling at their feet and admitting that he was a most sinful person text 24 mochiyamas nigdagd bishrabdha karne ka giraha devkim vasudevam cha darshayannatma sohridam fully believing in the words of goddess durga kamsa exhibited his familial affection for devki and vasudeva by immediately releasing them from their iron shackles by every in every action i think what are whatever the actions comes i is doing in his every action there is some something hidden that what he is acting and what he wants from inside actually he wants to kill the person who took already birth to kill him further we will see that what is the reason behind it that comes is reacting like this text 25 bhratu samnut tapasya bhratu samnut taptasya chant rosa cha devaki vai srijat vasu devasya prahasya tamuvach 
when devaki saw her brother actually repentant while explaining ordained events she was relieved of all anger women heart ladies heart soft heart if someone is begging in the lotus feet like sometime it happens husband make mistakes or the children make mistakes then they bow down in the feet of their parents and they say oh daddy i will not do again oh, mama i will not do again this is our last chance please so devki relieved of all ag- her anger similarly vasudeva was also free from anger it is said they were saintly person sant hriday navneet samana and the heart of the saint is like butter little heat heat of humbleness and their heart melt this is the nature of saintly people is smiling he spoke to kamsa as follows now purport of this text 25 devaki and vasudeva both highly elevated personalities elevated not ordinary highly elevated personalities why not because the god himself came to them they cannot be ordinary it is proven accepted the truth presented by kamsa that everything is ordained by providence according to the prophecy kamsa would be killed by the eighth child of devaki therefore vasudeva and devaki saw that behind all these incidents was a great plan devised by the supreme personality of godhead <laughs> actually kamsa was also not was not planning anything it was the plan of supreme personality of godhead and who was able to see this devaki and vasudeva because the lord had already taken birth just like a human child and was in the safe custody of mother yashoda all this was happening according to plan and there was no need to continue their ill feeling toward kamsa thus they accepted kamsa's words in our material world also same like this the things are planned but the human nature always ready to use the intellects to show something that i am something i am doing something plans are decided there is not any plan it is in in ramcharitamanasa goswami tulsidas is writing in avadhi language सब ही नचावत राम गोसाई नाचत नर मरकट की नाही सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड रामा और कृष्णा दे आर मेकिंग एवरी ईच एंड एवरी वन टू हाउ टू डांस एज पर देयर डायरेक्शन एंड ऑल दे आर डांसिंग लाइक ए मरकट मरकट मीन्स मंकी krishna and radharani 
they stick in their hand and uh, these sticks are only for non realized per people if someone is dancing in this material world like a monkey so they are also chosen not all nice good devotees deeply interested on the path of bhakti this type of devotees they don't need any direction because they already knowing all the directions or instructions of godhead they are totally surrendered as dasi so they don't need this stick or need to dance according to plan and there was no need to continue their ill feeling towards kinsa that's why they were knowing all they were not angry on kansa and they were not thinking anything bad about him because they were knowing that what he is doing he is doing as per his karma he is not under his the controller is someone he is just acting and he is acting differently not like a devotee not like a bhakta because his consciousness is not reached on that level his consciousness is within the beneath the level of knowledge beneath the beneath the level of spiritual identity so kamsa is cannot understand all these things he still he is thinking what i am doing i am doing he cannot think like vasudev and devaki that he is doing things are happening under some plan what god god had decided what is instructing what is giving directions the things are moving accordingly kamsa level of intelligence cannot reach over there or because of the demoniac mind he is not able to accept or grasp the nature of humbleness so he is not accepting this type of nature or said he need to die so all is decided that no need to otherwise he will become saint then the total story will be different but here it is like that kansa should be killed text 26 eva vetan mahabhaga yathavad sidehinam अज्ञान प्रभा हंधि सौपरेति विदायत ओ ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटी कंसा ओनली बाय द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ इग्नोरेंस डज वन एक्सेप्ट द मटेरियल बॉडी एंड बॉडिली ईगो आई थिंक आई आई सेट द सेम इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग या लिटिल केम इन द माइंड एंड आई सेड ऑलरेडी बट It's coming here. Oh, great personality, Kamsa. Personality is great, but the action are not, because the king Kamsa, Mathuresh, king of Mathura. So definitely, personality is high level, but high level means not elevated. there is difference between high level and elevated what you have said about this philosophy is correct person is the bodily concept of life lacking self realization you see differentiate in terms of this is mine and this belongs to another
we have bodily concept and in this bodily concept we are losing our self realization it is said deh geh abhiman till this bodily concept is there till this material concept that this is that that is mine that is mine that is mine this is mine 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 me 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 i i i till it is there it means always the self realization will be lack and in the lacking of self realization this is comes we thinks whatever in this world that is belong to me and that one belong to me this is belong to me my this my this my this my my in relation and material uh, items everything eyes close all finish कौन सी थोड़ा बनने दिया हुआ ट्रांसलेशन द पर्पज सॉरी एवरीथिंग इज डन ऑटोमेटिकली बाय द लॉ ऑफ नेचर विच वर्क अंडर द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड there is no question of doing anything independently <coughs> for one who has put himself in this material atmosphere human nature want to become completely independent i am doing i done there is no question of doing anything independently for one who has put himself in this material atmosphere is fully under the control of nature's law so if something happening wrong they cannot complain they are not supposed to lament it is said put himself in the material atmosphere fully he has to be under the controls of nature's law so we need to be careful that we need to keep away ourselves little bit if we don't want come under the nature's law our main business therefore should be to get out of this conditioned life and again become situated in a spiritual existence there is no not any other way to get rid or get out of all this situation what is we are suffering crying only due to ignorance does a person think i am demi god i am a human being i am a dog i am a cat or when the ignorance is still further advanced i am god some of the examples happened had been in india before there was a acharya who said i am bhagwan i will not take his name it's not important to take his name but it happened like this in india that he said that my name is bhagwan this unless one is fully self realized once life of ignorance will continue
that's why we are very needy people in this material world saintly people around us acharya is elevated so like gurudeva realized so like gurudeva we need around these type of people always 24/7 because their mind 24/7 in the lotus feet of simati radhika after taking diksha every moment when i am going near to gurudev i am feeling this completely there is no doubt no black side about this as soon as i go near to in front of him this energy from him started flowing towards me the duty what he has given me to do while doing this i am getting more and more energy towards him means without him it is not possible we have to understand without gurudeva if we want to do anything this is called anugatya without taking shelter of lotus feet of srila gurudeva it is totally impossible and we are fortunate we will not find any other place <laughs> rasika acharya like him i am not just making words in front of you to glorifying and saying oh how what nice sub words sachinandan is saying no 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 this i felt up after diksha from the day of diksha my personal experience inside my heart and these hard things i am telling you sometime gopinath prabhu really truly speaking the very right words gurudeva ocean of mercy there is a truthfulness in his word that's why you see the gopinath prabhu is little elevated i feel and these gopinath prabhu connections also become little bit stronger after the diksha i was totally a dull person a stupid person but now i'm realizing almost all more or less up and down this and this and this and this these persons are they have the mercy of gurudev they have all are special coated with the mercy of gurudev the lamination of gurudev mercy is there on each and every one gorang sundara gaura sundara suniti didi all these all these people are there you people from japan many of them they are knowing more than me definitely because i am why i am saying because i am late to go near to gurudev so for one who was put himself in the material atmosphere is fully under the control of nature's law our main business therefore should be could, should be to get out of this conditioned life and again become situated in a spiritual existence we have to go back we have to find our way we have to understand we have to situated in our place in our position as per the direction of srila gurudeva in a sthayi bhav until we not come success will or we will not approach success only due to ignorance does a person think this i said so unless one is fully realized one's life of ignorance will continue text 27 shok hars bhaya dwepa lobh moh madan vitah mitho gnantam na pashyanti bhavir bhavam prathak drishah 
persons with the vision of differentiations are imbued with the material qualities lamentation jubilation fear envy greed illusion and madness always lamenting this not happened this not happened oh my god what how this will happen how this will happen you know this is my problem you know the that is a problem lamentation all the time no peace fear i i don't know actually the meaning actual meaning of jubilation if someone is knowing jubilation Can you see? Tell me. Joy. Joy. Oh, thank you very much, Sundaram ji. <laughs> joy in joyness also forgetting, thinking that's that's it, that's it, that's it. Wow, this happy birthday moment. Okay, that's it. This is, this is the only thing. Wow, how nice. That's it. Finish. Floating. upper level of a lake fear how this will happen my god now what will happen my god this happened what to do now my god very less money how the life will go my god less pots are there in which plate i will eat one shoes oh my god only one shoes what to do we are always inside for the material and we as oh my god how much he has why i don't have how nice dress means he is or her is putting why i not my god you see nice car they have my god nice house nice crockery and we as <laughs> we should happy to see others wow what a beautiful full house you have so nice and instead of this my god what a thing he had why i don't have why he has or she has and yes greed this greed is different this is we are not talking about spiritual greed this greed in material <coughs> not satisfaction always unsatisfied belly is full even satisfied bank balance is full even satisfied unsatisfied totally not the cupboards is full of clothes even satisfied why i don't have this kind of brand gucci not satisfied illusion always mind is going in fantasy world that really will not give anything always mind going towards that we are intelligent we know many things but when the time come to follow ah we will do lot of time is there time is not much there <laughs> distance is long time is not much you have very short time and in this short time we have to cover the our distance otherwise in between finish sorry i am saying a lot today i have to say speak this and finally the all roads are blocked that is called madness they are influenced by the immediate cause which they are busy counteracting because they have no knowledge of the remote supreme cause the personality of godhead you see one 
वन थिंग ओनली गॉड ओनली आवर इस्ट वी फॉर गेट वी जस्ट कीपिंग अपार्ट एंड ऑल मिजरीज ऑल द प्रॉब्लम ऑल द सफरिंग आर विद अस जस्ट वन थिंग वी आर लिविंग स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड इज दस्ट वन वन एरिया ना एंड वी आर इन दिस ऑल वी आर लिविंग दिस एरिया एज सुन एज वी आर गोइंग आउट ऑफ दिस एरिया आवर ऑल प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट दिस एरिया इज अ ब्यूटिफुल गार्डन दैट गिव्स एवरीथिंग प्योर वाटर प्योर फ्रूट्स प्योर स्मेल प्योर एटमोस्फेयर एवरीथिंग इज प्योर हियर प्योरिटी इज अ कॉर्नर ऑफ प्योरिटी लिविंग दिस कॉर्नर ऑफ प्योरिटी एज सुन एज वी जस्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस प्योरिटी कॉर्नर और दिस डर्ट और द नेस्टी डिस्टर्बेंसेज स्टार्ट जस्ट फॉर गेटिंग वन थिंग is thinkable but the depth of this material existence is so thick it's not the matter of the thickness we can break this thickness but we don't want i said that we are very intelli- intelligent we know many things you are when you talk someone you know this yeah yeah, yeah i know i know i know I know, I know this. I know. I saw many people saying this. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But when you say following zero, knowing many things, following nothing. Krishna is the cause of all causes. Sarva karana karanam. but one who has no connection with krishna is disturbed leaving this corner krishna corner by immediate cause and cannot restrain his vision of separation of differences i think in my language i said already things is it is it true or i need to say more because prabhupad is writing on when he highly a scholar level but as much i am understanding i am translating all these things in my language own language restrain his vision of separation or differences why is separated and what is the difference between good and bad what is good for me what is bad for me i cannot know the differences that being apart being separated what happening or really it is happening that being separated or is just happening like whatever is happening in this world no thinking mind is not going there when an expert physician treats a patient he tries to find the original cause of the disease and is not diverted by the symptoms of that original cause got it for fever he just check the pulse if something happening the rate of pulses rate of heart beat all other things are different so first doctor try to find the cause and is not diverted by the symptoms of that original cause and is also knowing what are the reference can come on the body symptoms can come on the body if something is like this what is the signs on the body 
that is saying that oh he has this type of disease similarly a devotee is never disturbed by reverses in life never if he she is if he or she is devotee accepted as a devotee acting as a devotee living as a devotee not just by the word of devotee when well, collectively all actions are visible in a person as per the level of devotee then he is called a, really a devotee tatte nu kampamam su samiksha mana a devotee understands that when he is in distress this is due to his own past misdeeds which are now occurring reactions karma siddhant method of karma if we will touch the fire fire will burn our hand this we know if we touch the open electricity wire we will get shock this we know but this is the nature of devotee that he knows everything so after knowing a devotee never tries to touch the open wire never try to put his hand or her hand in the fire because devotee knows non devotees are not knowing they even don't know is this fire or is this electric wire open they just put their hand and then say when burn then oh is burn is something is there that is burning if they know they know only this it is not decided that the non devotee will not do this again definitely a non devotee can do this again possible that he can forget that oh one time i put this was fire and burnt my hand this was a open air electrical wire i touch and i get shock non devotee forgets even after burning many times hands but it truly a devotee not he realize although by the grace of the supreme personality of godhead these are only very slight karmani nirdabha nirdahati kintu cha bhakti bhajanam when a devotee under the protection of the supreme personality of godhead is to suffer because of faults in his past deeds he passes through only a little misery by the grace of the lord although the disease of a devotee is due to mistakes committed sometime in the past although the disease of a devotee is due to mistakes committed sometimes in the past he agrees to suffer and tolerate such miseries this is the quality of devotee quickly understanding as ready okay let the things happen what happening because if i put a seed of bitter gourd i cannot expect that when the fruit will come that will be a sweet mango what it like if i am putting the seed of neem that is very bitter and when the tree is ready i i think that oh this tree should give a sweet mango that is not possible
एंड इट डिपेंड्स फुली ऑन द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड टोटली सरेंडर्ड दस ही इज नेवर अफेक्टेड बाय मटीरियल कंडीशन ऑफ लेमेंटेशन जुबिलेशन फियर एंड सो ऑन A devotee never sees anything to be unconnected with the supreme personality of Godhead. Yatra tatra sarvatra par kya mood? Where he is not existing, everywhere. Thus, he is never affected by material conditions of lamentation, jubilation, fear, and so on. A devotee never sees anything to be unconnected with the supreme personality of Godhead. Sri La Madhvacharya, quoting from the Bhavishya Purana, says, "Bhagavat Darsanad Yasya Virodhat Darsanam Prathak Prathak Drist So Ujneyo." नातु सदभेदा दर्शन टेक्स्ट 28 कंस एवं सन्नाभ्याम विशुद्धम प्रतिभासी देवकी वसुदेवा भ्याम मनु ज्ञात विशद गृह सुखदेव गोस्वामी इज कंटिन्यू सेइंग नाउ दस हैविंग बीन एड्रेस्ड इन प्योरिटी बाय देवकी एंड वासुदेवा who were very much appeased comes up felt pleased and with their permission he entered his home text 29 tasyam ratryam vetitayam kansa ahuya mantrinah tibya achasta tat sarvam ya duktam yog nidraya after that night passed Kamsa summoned his minister and informed them of all that had been spoken by Yogamaya, that who had revealed that he who was to slay Kamsa has already been born somewhere else. Now Kamsa, I am thinking on this thing that what the Mahamaya said that. Uh, to whom you are thinking that someone will kill you is already taken birth at some place of braja purport the vedic uh, scriptures uh, sachinanda ran ji sorry, sorry. Yeah. I, i won't try to take advantage for your presence by your presence yeah uh, in the last sloka of the verse uh, Uh, 27 there is a yeah. slok in sanskrit that you read but we cannot know what is explained Shloka. in this slok i am reading again no maybe you can explain what the meaning of this sloka 27 please You talking about this Bhavishya Purana about Madhvacharya written? Yes, Sachinanda Raji. Ah, uh, I have to work on it actually. As much I am understanding with this sloka, what Madhvacharya is writing in Bhavishya Purana. that who had got darshan of bhagwan so what is the meaning of darshan the explanation of darshan for him is little different even after having darshan it is not completely that you will be fully reach on that level what is needed for you because you you fixed your goal only on darshan after doing such 
pious austerities. You want that? I want only darshan of Bhagwan. So darshan is easy. You leave water and eating and drinking for some men, some days. He will come in front of you. But this will, will not the solution of all your different questions, all your different ideas, what actually you need to make your life elevated. So it is said darshan, even after having darshan, the meaning of darshan is little different. Like it is said over here that the devotee never feel unconnected. Before it is said, the devotee never feel unconnected. He sees all these things that what is happening with him is the past karma of life. Prithak drishta so we know the drishti, the vision is different. To see all these things in the spiritual world, one must have a very clear, super fine vision what he wants to understand, how he wants to live his life, where he wants to go and to how many others he can help. This is the meaning of to living in a spiritual life. Natu Sad Veda Darshanaha And if your vision is not clear, your darshan or not darshan, then it doesn't matter. If you went Bhagavan in front of you, you will not understand. Bhagavan also come after, after looking some qualities. Like he took incarnation in Vasudev, Devaki and Vasudev because there was some qualities in them. So instead of dars having darshan, we have to improve our qualities. That is really needed in a spiritual world on a very exact platform. Means our vision, our purpose should be very clear to be in a spiritual world, in a spiritual life. Many people are not get these things even after darshan. So this sloka, in the contrary of this uh, purport actually written, quoted over, over here, the meaning is hidden in this, uh, in the text 27 purport of this sloka actually. What I read, everything is said in this purport. And finally, just this sloka mentioned over here, what? Srila Madhvachar is written in Bhavishya Purana. Jai Dandavat Pranam. You are giving me light. I am just trying to put my hand on the switch. I am not doing anything. So no. Your mercy, Sundaram Ji, that you are giving a chance. Maybe I am not so much clearly told you. If you, I, I, it is not clear to you, you can ask some of our uh, Elder Acharya, uh, Gurudev, others are there, Jananda Prabhu, or others, many are there. You can, uh, um, uh, Gorang Sundara or uh, Gora Sundara, all they are here. Suniti, all these, they can also say something on you. As much I knew with my mind, I just mentioned you. Because I am not uh, that, <laughs> that much. Sorry, my limit is like this. You give us mercy, Sachinanda Raji. Because I I can never know what is the meaning of this loka. I don't know Sanskrit. And yeah, yeah, we okay. are lucky to have you here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jaiho. Thank you to you, my dear. Now text 28. Shri Shukha Uvacha Kansa Evam Prasannabhyam Vishuddham Pratibhasitaha Devki Vasudevabhyam Manu Gyato Vishad Griham. Sukadeva Goswami continued 
Thus, having been addressed in purity by Devaki and Vasudeva, who were very much appeased, Kamsa felt, Kamsa felt pleased. He was happy. And with their permission, he entered his home. And after that, 629, Kasyam Ratram Bet Itayam Kamsa Ahuya Mantrana after the night passed, Kamsa summoned his ministers and informed them of all that had been spoken by Yoga Maya that we know. Now I am going to on directly on poor part. The Vedic scriptures. Chandi describes Maya, the energy of Supreme Lord. Maya is the energy of Supreme Lord. As Nidra, Durga Devi Sarva Bhutesu Nidra Rupena Samstita. This sleeping that we are uh, every night we are going to sleep. This is the work of Durga Devi, Maya, Mahamaya. And because of the effect, influence of Durga Devi, we are able to sleep. Because this is also the one of the energy. If this energy is not really, is not working with us in right direction, we fail sick and we cannot sleep. So you, many people have sleeplessness in the night time. Very short time, half an hour they are sleeping and then again get up. So this is the energy of Supreme Lord. Durga Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Nidra Rupena Samsita. The energy of Yoga Maya and Mahamaya keeps the living entities sleeping in this material world in the great darkness of ignorance. So generally, because I have been at the place where people are worshipping Goddess Durga a lot at the time of this Navaratra, nine days of this Durga worshipping, continuously what they do, very, very nearly I have been with them, I was also chanting some mantras from the Rig Vedas or Durga Saptasatis, they are very hard and strong mantras, powerful, energetic, really mantras. But at that time when was, I was chanting all this whole Durga Saptasati, really I was getting so much energy. But in this energy, there is a mix up of something. I never felt in this energy purity. This can cut many things. Durga is helpful also, I am not saying, the sister of Krishna. But the perspective of taking all this mantra and this chanting and the mood, like we can say, Bhagavati Vaishnavi, the Vaishnava Devi is there in the up in the mountain of uh, in India. There is a Devi, Durga temple. But this is Vaishnava Devi. This is Devi of our, for us, Vaishnavas. Vaishnava means Sattva, Sattvic mood. But the many places in India, when they are worshipping, the mood is not Sattvic. Either it is Rajasik or Tamasik more. So when Rajas and Tamas is there, Sattva cannot go near to these. I am saying perspective. If Durga Puja, if you are someone is conducting in Sattva mood, this energy becomes totally Sattvic, pure, super pure. And that is, and I think that 
that energy or that sattvic puja of durga is accepted by krishna or even radharani what the one mood the mood of this durga puja is in rajas or tamas then it is very difficult to grasp or to bring it near to our mood it is not possible so it is written here that world in the great darkness on of ignorance definitely it's happening because maya people are going and asking i want this i want this i want this i want this conditional this bhakti is totally conditional of durga so by this nature by this perspective the darkness darkness of ignorance is there in the people those who are going on this path on this style <coughs> yoga maya the goddess durga kept kamsa in darkness about krishna's birth and misled him to believe that his enemy krishna had been born elsewhere so we sometimes also thinks like that when we are we are means some of among us not we are devotee we are not like that why i will say like this non devotee they are totally in the darkness of ignorance krishna was born the son of devaki but according to the lord's original plan as prophesied to brahma he went to vrindavan to give pleasure to mother yashoda and nanda maharaj and other intimate friends and devotees for 11 years then he would return to kill kamsa because kamsa did not know this he believed yog maya's statement that krishna was born elsewhere not of devaki so is here see how yog maya and the mahamaya is working keeping him totally in darkness his mind cannot go they put a curtain on his intellects they covered so he cannot through, see through behind curtain blockage gurudev say many times blockages when the blockage comes we are not able to see the real pictures that what is good what is bad for our life text 30 aa karnya bhartu gaditam tamu churdesh satravah devan prati krita marsha daiteya nati ko vidaha after hearing their master's statement the envious asuras when kamsa gave the instructions to the his friends who were enemies of the demigods and were not very expert in their dealings advised kamsa as follows so kamsa's friends kamsa mind was like that asura mind have hasura's friend as you think your circle your friendship your association is also like that and this association makes your more and more more and more darkness in your life the same thing happen over here they were also the enemies of demigods and they were not so intelligent even they advised kamsa what now par par there are two different types of men the asuras and the suras दौ भूता सर्गौ लोकेस्मिन दैव सुरा एवं विष्णु भक्ता स्मृतो दैव असुरा तद 
Vipriyaya. It is said in the sloka there is difference between Asuras and Suras. Sura worship thinks about always his master, supreme personality of Godhead. And the Asuras, always the enemy's mood, ready to fight with the demigods. This is the different. Those who are devotees of Lord Vishnu, Krishna, are Asuras or Devas. Those who are devotees of Lord Vishnu, Krishna, are Suras or Devas. Whereas, those who are opposed to the devotees are called Asuras. Whosoever with conflict of devotee, we should understand he is Asura, demon. Devotees are expert in all transactions. Yasyasti Bhaktir Bhagavatya Ankinchana Sarvair Gunis Tatra Samaste Sura. Therefore, they are called Kovida, which means expert. Asuras, however, Although superficially showing expertise in passionate activities are actually all fools. They think, Asuras think that they are very smart. But totally they are dumbed. Nothing. Zero. They are neither sober nor expert. It is said, it means said those who are not in spiritual life. Those who are not ready to understand, doesn't matter how intelligent they are in the material world. Actually, they are totally fool. Big scientists, president, ministers, doctors, lawyers, whatever they are, doesn't matter how elevated in material world. Till they are not surrendered and took shelter. Of Srimati Radhika and Sri Krishna. We as devotee think about them. They are full. Their life is useless. They are neither so sober nor expert. Whatever they do is imperfect. They are neither uh, Moghasa. Mogha Karmanaha, according to this description of the Asuras given in the Bhagavad Gita, whatever they do will ultimately be baffled. It was such persons who had wide Kamsa because they were his chief friends and ministers. So we have to be very careful, the people around us. That's why it is said. Sajati Sangha. If we don't have Sajati Sangha, same mood of people, they can misguide and they can bring in the hellish situation. And the same thing happening here with Kamsa also. So what, while all this reading I understood, we have to keep ourselves always near to Srila's Gurudev, Lotus Feet, under his guidance. Otherwise, this Kalikal, who knows who will come and who will misguide. But the protection, if we have, we no need to be fearful because we are always protected. We are here in Vrindavan. Even though if we are not in Vrindavan, we are devotee, we are surrendered, we are took shelter of Srila Gurudeva, we are took shelter of our Istadev Srila Radha Mohan. Thank you very much to all of you that listened to me and I, whatever I was able to, by the mercy of Srimati Radhika's, to say a little bit, share to you. Jai Jai Shri Radhe, Jai Jai Shri Radhe, Jai Jai Shri Radhe, Andhkaji Radhe Radhe. Thank you very much. Now it's Aarti going on, I think.
थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच धन्यवाद वांसा कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावनेभ्यो श्री वैष्णवेभ्यो वैष्णवीभ्यो नमो नमः